<laughs> Hello, beautiful. Today's story is of the military variety. Hup, 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 hup. The start of the story takes place in C-130. C-130, rolling down the strip. Now, I was one of the jumpers on the C-130. I was scared of heights. And because I was so scared of heights, I threw up all over this plane. I just couldn't take it. The whole thing was shaking and swerving. And I was like, I'm gonna fucking die. And no, I wouldn't. It was just a totally normal training exercise. Nothing whatsoever dangerous about this. Not at least for me. So there I am. Ten minutes, five minutes. Get ready for equipment check. Blah. There's vomit all over my jump aisle. And I'm in the middle. So that means half of the plane behind me, well, one half of one half, has to walk through my slippery vomit. Not good. So go, go, go. And I'm going, oh, oh, oh my God, oh my God, I can see outside. Blah. And falling can be pretty scary, you know? It was a nighttime jump. Ooh. And you don't wear NVGs when you, when, you know, you jump out of a plane because they'd fall off your helmet. So you, you just can't see anything at all. And it feels like you're hmm, jumping into a waterfall, kind of. So anyway, I'm in a waterfall, things are bumping me, other people's parachutes, it's free. So anyway, I reach the bottom. That's what she said. Ha! No, it's not. She actually said I never could. And once I'm down there, I'm a good little soldier. I back up my parachute, I look around, and I notice something. I notice that the plane behind me has just released its paratroopers. And there's one something falling kind of fast. So at this point, I put like my NVGs on and stuff. And I was like, all suited up and ready to go. And this is just a training exercise, by the way. Just training. So I'm looking up at this guy. Hmm. Wondering what's going on. Because, you know, after about three seconds of this, which felt much longer, you see, that's a reserve parachute. And the green and black the night vision can offer you, I see the reserve open. And then something even stranger. I see what appears to be a huge rucksack, kind of like hanging upside down and swinging. But it's making this noise. And it sounds like, bah! Well, anyway, that wasn't just the guy's weapon and rucksack attached to his harness swinging. It was the fucking guy, upside down, swinging. He flipped upside down in his harness. So first he was falling real fast, like, no parachute, right? Then the reserve opens. Then the body continues to fall. And then, whiplash. The soldier gets flipped upside down. Whoop. And begins oscillating. Whee! Except he did not sound happy. He sounded like he was being tortured. That's because both of his legs were ripped out of his sockets. So I'll spare you the details on this part, and we'll just speed up a little bit, okay? He lands like a sack of screaming shit somewhere on the DZ. And me, being a new 17-year-old soldier, I'm like, I can help. I get to a guy in a miserable amount of pain. Like, he is beyond reaction. He's almost in fucking shock. There's a medic there attending to me and all my young, helpful wisdom. I think it wise to get on a knee, pull out a can of chew, and say, um, hey, man, do, do you, like, need one? The medic rightfully looks at me like I'm the dumbest sack of shit on planet Earth and says, no, he doesn't need a chew. Get the fuck out of here. And then I got the fuck out of there. That's my story.